Yeah, let's go back to the basics, mga kapatid. Some of us have become so professional. So, I mean, as a father, I'm professional, you know. Excuse me. May I tell you a story about two professional killers who were hired to shoot somebody at 9 o'clock. Mga 9.15, naghihintay sila doon with their rifle, no? Wala pa. 9.30, wala pa. Sabi ng professional killer number one, wala pa yung babanatan natin, ah. Sabi ng professional killer number two, O oh nga eh, kinakabahan ako. Baka may masamang nangyari sa kanya. <laughs> professional, but still personal. Don't let your profession destroy that peace, that spontaneity, that simplicity in you. Don't let your so-called achievements go to your head and be you become proud and you forget, hey, you're still a part of the human race. There are no lesser people. We're all the same. Pantay-pantay po tayong lahat, mga kapatid. No? So, let's go back to the heart. First question is, may puso ka pa ba? Siyempre naman, Father. Now, it's a valid question, mga kapatid. Alam po niyo, may mga tao ngayon, sinasabi nila, Father, huwag na natin pag-usapan yung mga heart-heart na yan. Father, wise na tayo ngayon. Practical na tayo ngayon. Perayo na lang natin, Father. I'm sorry. Matters of the heart still matter. You have to go back to your heart. So I would like to do a heart checkup right now. ECG tayo, ha? Um, alam po niyo sa Korea, I spent four years in Korea as a missionary. Marami na po tayo mga Pilipino all over the world. We're doing our part because before we used to import missionaries. Now, I'm very happy to tell you that we're already exporting Filipino missionaries. Ibig sabihin niyan, pang-export, quality na ang Pinoy. Okay, alam mo ba yung greetings ng mga Koreans? The greeting of the Koreans is, Anyo nga sayo. Ay, una ko nadinig yun eh. Anyo nga sayo? Sabi ko sa kanya, ewan ko sayo. <laughs> but it's a beautiful greeting because the meaning of Anyo nga sayo is, Are you at peace? Ang galing po, no? It's the greeting of the heart. So whenever the Koreans meet one another, ang unang tinatanong nila, Are you at peace? Pag may aalis po, uh, sasabihin nila sa alis, Anyong hi ka sa'yo? Go in peace. Tapos yung alis naman, sabihin niya sa mga iwan, Anyong hi ka sa'yo? Stay in peace. Pag galit na, rest in peace. <laughs> Pero peace pa rin. So just to make sure that you are at peace, I like now to check the sins of the heart. AIDS, E A R T. AIDS, hatred. Is there any hatred in your heart? As long as meron kang hatred, kapatid, wala kang peace. Mabigat. You know, hatred is like acid. And the container of that acid is your heart 24 hours a day, even while you are sleeping. So, be good to yourself. Forgive. Mag-forgive ka na. Napakahirap po mag-forgive sa totoo lang. But what did Jesus say? Just pray for your enemies. Pray for those who hurt you. Yun lang. That's all that God asks of you. Right now, think of people whom you have not yet forgiven, you have not talked with, you don't even want to see. Okay? Sabi mo lang kay Lord, Lord, I surrender this person to you. Lord, Bahala na po kayo sa kanya. At kung sinabi mong bahala ka na Lord sa kanya, huwag mong sabihin na, Sige Lord, bahala ka kung gusto mong maatake na, ma, ma heart attack, etc. Hindi bahala na nga si Lord eh. Problema sa'yo, may suggestion ka pa eh. That means, hindi pa rin total ang forgiveness mo. So, balik din rin po niyo yung forgive. Give for. That's it. Give for the Lord. Bahala na si Lord. By the way, how many of you are married? The latest report I received from heaven is that, hey, listen to this. Married people now will be the first priority to enter the kingdom of heaven. Wow. You know why? That's because many of them have been through hell already in this world. But kidding aside, alam po nyo, I salute married people. It's not an easy thing to live with somebody and to adjust but hey, that's your mission. God called me to be a priest. That's my mission. 
God called you to be a married person, that's your mission. Uh, I remember one counseling moment. Husband and wife walked to my office. Wife was crying. She found out that there was an affair going on for eight years. Husband was quiet. Wala na siya masabi. All I asked the wife was this. Are you willing to forgive? That's all. Kasi if she was not willing to forgive, wala na. You know, amazing. This woman just looked at the husband, embraced the husband and said, You know what? You've hurt me so much. Ang sakit-sakit. But because I promise to love you, for better, for worse, and because I really, really love you, I forgive you. Wow. You know, forgiveness is beautiful. Ang galing po. But the story does not end there. Three days later, there was a phone call. Guess who was on the other line? The other woman. Somehow, nalaman niya about the whole thing and she said, Father or boss, I'd like to come over and make a good confession. And she came over. Nag-confession po siya, sabi, ayaw ko na po ito, magulo, Father. I just want to live a peaceful life now. I want to be at peace with God. And so she was forgiven. She was given the absolution. What a beautiful smile. Some of the most beautiful smiles come when a person is truly and really forgiven in confession. Beautiful. Forgiveness is beautiful. But the story does not end there. Three weeks later, they wanted to meet in my office. Sabi ko, are you sure? Opo, Father, para masetal na lahat to. Okay. So, they walked to my office, and these two ladies see each other for the first time. Mga tinging, you know, sino ba siya, gano'n, gano'n. Sabi ko, ah, okay, let's pray, let's have humility. That's all. Ang ganda po na nangyari, mga kapatid, after the prayer. Nag-sorry po yung husband to the other woman for all the promises. Nag-sorry rin yung other woman to the wife. And everybody was just so forgiving, so free. Wow, forgiveness is beautiful. But the story does not end there. Nagdasal po kami. After the prayers, alam po nyo, sabi ng other woman to the wife, I have one last request, sabi niya. Yes, what's that, sabi ng wife. Please, may I embrace him for the last time. Yeah, sabi ng wife, go ahead. Siya. Embrace sila, no? They were embracing each other. They were crying and crying. The wife also was crying. Wala siyang ma-embrace. Ako na lang in-embrace. Wow, beautiful. <laughs> but the story must end there. Baka lumampas pa doon, machismis na ako. <laughs> but the point is this. This was a story of forgiveness that already had a happy ending. How about your story of forgiveness? Happy ending na ba? Have you reconciled with your God? Have you reconciled with people who cause you heaviness of heart? So go back to the heart, hatred. The second sin of the heart that destroys the peace is the sin of envy. An envious person is never at peace. Pag may tumataas, masamang loob niya. Pag may bumababa, o dyan ka lang, ganun. You know, the Siddhartha says, If you compare yourself with others, you may become vain or bitter. For always, there will be greater or lesser persons than you. So, be at peace lang. Alam po nyo, ang karamihan sa atin din, problema natin mga Pilipino, yung dahil sa ingit-ingit na yan, ayan, we pull down one another. Sometimes by foul means, wala hong tulungan. We pull down one another. By the way, close relative ng envy yung jealousy. Tell me, kung siloso, silosa ka, do you have peace? Palagi kang, oh, nasaan na kaya siya ngayon? By the way, uh, according to the networks, the most sent uh, letter or word sa mga text is uh, K, the letter K. Okay, it's about 30 million times in a day down. Next to that, 15 million times in a day, the word lock, location, where you. Yan, mga naghahanap, mga silosa, siguro <laughs> siloso looking. Just to digress a little. 
Ano ang tawag ninyo sa isang babaeng alam niya kung nasaan yung husband niya 24 hours a day? You know what you call that woman? Balo. A widow. Sigurado siya nandun yung husband niya 24 hours a day nandun sa libingan. So, it's really a futile, useless thing to be jealous always or to be envious. Okay? Ingat tayo sa envy. A is called anger. Ayan, high blood ka ba? Ang team song mo, me and me against the world. Sigaw ka ng sigaw. Palagi ka na lang, you know, pwede ba? Slow down. Shout at animals. Talk to people. Ang problema ng iba, they shout at people. Tapos si animal, hello kitty kitty. <laughs> Bakit ganun? And remember this too. Use things, love people. Ang problema ng iba, they love things, they use people. So, anger, high blood. Naalala ko po tuloy yung kwento ng isang senyora. Madasalin at lahat. Pagdating sa bahay, mayroon siya nakita mga ipis. Sabi niya, Hoy, Inday, halika nga dito. Ang daming mga ipis. Nagalit talaga. Ha? Nagsisisigaw. Ito yung chok. Yung chok na pamatay ng ipis. Sulatan mo yung mga dingding, mga sahig na yan para mamatay mga ipis lahat dito. Sabi ng katulong, Opo, ati. Gagawin ko po, ati. Alam po nyo, the next day, ang gulat ng senyora, ang laki-laki nakasulat sa mga pader. Hoy, mga epes! <laughs> Mamatay kayong lahat! Exclamation point pa. Tapos sinainan pa niya, always and die. <laughs> Alam po nyo, si Inday talagang professional. Ginawa niya na, Hoy, mga epes! Mamatay kayong lahat! Exclamation point! But ang maganda po kay Inday, pinersonalize pa niya, always and die. Ayan. So mga kapatid, pwede ba? Huwag na tayong mag-high blood, high blood dyan. Okay? Speaker of the house ka na. Speech ka na. Speech sa bahay. Wala na nakikinig sa iyo. So mga kapatid, hey, stop anger. There's so much violence already. Or, that's the sin of resentments. Resentments in Tagalog is yung pong tampo. Matampuhin ka ba? Ang tao pong matampuhin, mga kapatid, walang peace. Ang hirap po magkaroon ng kapatid, kaibigan na matampuhin. Everything you do is wrong. Pag binati mo siya, sabi niya, hmm, ngayon mo lang akong binati. <laughs> Pag hindi mo siya binati, hmm, hindi mo na ako binabati ngayon. <laughs> ano yan? Everything you do is wrong. Uh, usually po yung mga matampuhin, medyo sensitive, eh, kulang lang sa pansin. Uh, pwede ba? Life is too short to be spent on negative feelings. Sayang. Sayang ang panahon sa mundo kung you nurture hurts. We all get hurt. Move on. Ah, uh, by the way, pinapatanong ni Lord pala, kapatid na nakikinig yun, baka may tampu ka na rin kay Lord. It can happen. Siguro, you're saying, Lord, bakit ganito? Mabait naman ako. Lord, bakit ganun? Yung hinihingi ko ang tagal na. Lord, bakit marami kong trials? Eh, bakit ako ganito? Eh, mabait naman. May mga iba dyan. Kapatid, huwag ka nang magtampo kay Lord. Don't let go of God. He is your greatest ally. So, tanggalin mo na yung tampo. Tell the Lord again, Lord, I trust in you. Alam ko po may plano kayo. You have a beautiful plan in my life. And finally, letter T is what we call timidity of heart. Yung bang we lack courage. When you could have done something good, you did not do it. When you could have corrected someone or something, tumahimik ka na lang kasi ayaw mong ma-involve, ayaw mong masaktan. That's the problem of many of us, you know. I go back to the handkerchief. Alam po yung handkerchief, parang panyo, di po ba? It's a very little thing. Napakalit na bagay, but the handkerchief is a very, very useful thing. Alam po nyo, kung pinapawisan tayo, handkerchief. Yan, pag umiyak ka, handkerchief. Pag may sipon ka, handkerchief. Pilipino, pag nahihiya, if you cover their mouths, handkerchief. No? Very useful, pero nasaan po yung handkerchief most of the time? It's just in the pocket. It's hidden. Nobody sees it. 
Ano pong opposite ng handkerchief? Ano ang tawag sa Korean na lalaki? Koreano, okay? Eh, Korean na babae. Koreana. Anong tawag sa Korean na bata? Ang tawag sa Korean na bata, korbata. <laughs> the necktie is the opposite of the handkerchief. Tignan po yung necktie, oh. front page. Staring kitang-kita ng lahat. Pero tanin mo nga sarili mo. Ano man nagagawa niyan para sa inyong necktie niyan? Wala. Pan-display. Pamporma. Pan-Japons. Wala naman pala nagagawa. So, be ye handkerchiefs. Simple lang, but not timid. Hidden, but full of love and full of conviction. So, yun po ang sins of the heart. Check your heart. H, hatred. E, envy. A, anger. R, resentment. T, timidity of heart. <laughs> 